okay guys so welcome back to my channel it's jennifer here again so if you're just dropping by if i just <clears throat> if you just came across my channel today my name is jennifer confident and i'm a 2020 erasmus mundus scholarship awardee <laughs> yeah so don't know if this lighting is okay but yeah i think this is better okay Okay, so I think this is better now. Okay, so I'm a 2020 Erasmus Mundus Scholarship Awardee, and um, <clears throat> I've been in Glasgow since September, and I'll be moving to Dublin, uh, which is in Ireland, my next mobility country. I'll be moving to Dublin tomorrow, and so I want to use this moment to just reflect on my life and um, how long I've been in um, Glasgow, what has Glasgow been like, and what have I learned this um, few months I've been here and how how good has it been? How not so good has it been? And what has the experience in general been like? Okay, so I arrived in Glasgow on the 12th of September 2020 and it was not the best of experience traveling down to Glasgow, finding my way down to Glasgow. But since I got here, it has been a totally different experience for me. Um, the... The structures like the the way um subjects are being taught like in school let me start first of all with school the way subjects are being taught relationship between um teachers lecturers and students it's a totally different experience here it seems more like um the the students are in charge it's what the students want that would happen it's what the students um the students are more like the the boss that's against what i i I knew back home where you know you the lecturer takes the lead and you follow like you there are certain things that don't happen you know it, I don't know how to explain this for you to get it but there's this relationship that exists between lecturers and students like like there's this di diplomatic relationship let me say that I don't really know how to put it down in words but you can legit go and meet your lecturer and um, your lecturer asks him about your assignments or what do you want from this assignment and you know things like that like oh please let me off what i have okay so there's this um students get to you know decide things that would happen and stuff like that sometimes students get to rate them um, lecturers get to rate them their teachings and all that if a lecturer is using a particular teaching style teaching method and you guys don't like it you tell the lecturer we don't like how you're teaching us maybe you should teach us this way maybe you should use uh, you know be like this be like that that kind of something that's totally different from what the background i came from mm -mm. student taking what the lecturer has to offer you don't suggest like you dare not you don't do that so stuff like that so um it's a totally different environment and um now in terms of regular relationship with people and all that i found that here people get to really respect your opinions your ideas about stuff people just respect your space and you know a whole lot of that and then the place obviously the place is beautiful yes beautiful um we probably have beautiful places back home yeah but then um the experience of seeing a different um a different um shade of beauty it's um what it is for me like really important and it felt really cool to me also um i just think it's been good but the idea of this online learning the corona and all that has really made a lot of things really bad but I think in general it has been a great experience. Um, this Erasmus Mundus scholarship has offered me, I think, um, so far is the best um, offer I've gotten so far, and taking me across countries, across continents, um, bringing me to Europe, bringing me to UK, bringing me to Glasgow, really beautiful place, and I think it's it's amazing. I think it's like it's been like one of the best experiences of my life in fact so far i think it's the best opportunity i've got <coughs> so far it's, uh, it's been the best opportunity i've got because when i look at it where would have gotten the money 
to pay for this this school fees and all that because of course you know um, international students pay way more th more than times two of what um national students or eu students pay at least eu students until the end of this year or so before they will start paying like us international students so when you look at it and you're like wow this is mad like so much money now compared to the travelings and you know accommodation for, like a whole lot of things living costs and all that it's like mad money and i don't think i would have been able to take up this this thing um this scholarship this program without a scholarship so it's been a great opportunity and um yeah like i would always say um I would advise anybody out there, please go ahead and, you know, make your applications for the scholarships. So scholarships are still open. I think you need to go ahead and make your applications for the scholarships. Really important. Make your applications. You know, there are lots of scholarships out there. You need to make those applications and, you know, get to see other places. A different shade of beauty entirely. So, I think, looking at my life, I think it's been amazing. It's been it's been a hell of a year being amazing so while corona and everything has been crazy but the year has been amazing it's been interesting coming down here and now tomorrow i'll be leaving the uk i'll be leaving glasgow glasgow where i've called home for a number of months now finally leaving you know because um i was talking with a friend and i'm like I feel kind of this sad happy leaving Glasgow. I said, hmm, don't even think about it. I'm like, why? I said, yeah, that's what you signed up for. You knew what you signed up for before you, you took up the scholarship and before you came here. So no need of feeling uh, sad and happy at the same time. You knew what you signed up for. See, you you have to move on. <laughs> you have to move on. That's what he said. And I get it, but there's this still um sense of you know when you finally get in attached to a place and then it's time to move to a different place altogether so there's this feeling i had i'm like god i don't know i don't really know um i feel i feel somewhat happy traveling to dublin tomorrow i feel somewhat happy traveling to dublin tomorrow to you know visit um another beautiful place, visit another country, get to meet other people there. But at the same time, Glasgow has been amazing to me. Glasgow has been a place I've been calling home. So I've been kind of sad and happy at the same time. And I'm just there. I'm not really sure how I feel. In fact, I feel happy and sad at the same time. That's just the honest truth. I feel happy and sad at the same time. But... I think um, I have to accept it. That's what I signed up for. And I have to be moving to the next country. And, you know, it's amazing getting to travel across countries, getting to learn new things about there, getting to, getting to get acquainted to their culture, way of life, and how the system in general works and operates. It's... It's interesting, but at this point, you know, I've I've got a number of friends here already, and it feels like I'm leaving. I'm leaving already. I'm leaving. I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to a totally different place. I'm leaving. I'm going to start up a totally different life again for some months before leaving again and i don't know it took it took me a, a long time to adapt to this place but i was speaking with someone and said okay it took a long time to adapt to this place but the experience you have already so far it would be useful in adapting quickly to dublin you won't take that long in adapt in adapting to dublin the system the weather everything over there so even though the weather is similar to this river then of course the people the culture and all that so it's a good thing you've um, adapted to this place and even though you're leaving so it would really be useful the experiences here would really be useful in navigating your life in dublin so yes i'm moving to dublin and i'll be staying there for 
a couple of months also and i can't wait to see what dublin has for me i can't wait to experience the life there in dublin and yeah even though as much as i would hate to say <clears throat> as much as i would hate to say that i am ready to travel to dublin but i'm ready <laughs> ready like i just have to go actually i just have to you know go to dublin and that's what i signed up for and yeah i guess so i'll be leaving to dublin tomorrow so guys um my next video would be me in dublin so watch out for my travel video and watch out for me going to dublin i love you guys please do subscribe to my channel it's still not too late to hit the 500 subscribers thank you and yes i'll see you in dublin bye